How's it going guys? It is 2.13 a.m. 3rd of May here in Japan. We have a past level question for gross pathology for step one. Nearly identical question shows up on one of the NBME exams. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, element underscore medical. I'm HLMA and underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Let's start the clip. 54-year-old woman dies of lung cancer. And question wants to know which of the following additional findings was most likely to be seen in this patient. And you look at this gross specimen here, you say, no idea what I'm fucking looking at. Okay, so we'll talk about this image, right? We'll whip through the answer choices here. So which additional finding would we have expected in this patient prior to her demise? Uh, let's go backwards. Choice C, violaceous papules on the knuckles refers to Gotrin or Gotrin papules of dermatomyositis. Wrong fucking answer. So Gotrin papules, mechanics hands, rough surfaced hands, shawl rash, it's a body rash, uh, heliotrope rash, it's violaceous eyelids. You can all see that in dermatomyositis, anti-JO1, anti-MI2 antibodies. Now you need to, know, and proximal muscle weakness, of course. So if we have Proximal muscle weakness plus increased CK weakness in physical exam, that's polymyositis. We just add the skin findings on top of that. We call that dermatomyositis. Now you need to know that dermatomyositis can actually be a perineoplastic of ovarian carcinoma. I know it sounds weird, but it shows up on one of the retired NBME assessments as an answer. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, proximal muscle weakness, wrong fucking answer. So... Obviously, it goes hand in hand with dermatomyositis, as I just said, but you could say, well, what about Lambert Eaton syndrome? Okay, so small cell bronchogenic carcinoma uh, can produce antibodies against presynaptic voltage gated calcium channels, where you get proximal muscle weakness that improves with activity. I just made a clip on it the other day where you they might say in the question that a patient uh, rocks back and forth in a chair a few times uh, before being able to do it more easily. Okay, so. That refers to Lambert Eaton syndrome. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, migratory thrombophlebitis, wrong fucking answer. So this could be in reference to Trucio sinus malignancy, which is classically seen with pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Okay, now it's not limited to head of pancreas adenocarcinoma. You can see this with adenocarcinoma of the lung which classically presents as an apical tumor, okay? It can be a pancos tumor causing Horner syndrome. They'll classically give you a female non-smoker, okay? Does it have to be a female? No, but we just talk about textbook presentations here, but they'll pretty much give you a non-smoker. They like doing that for adenocarcinoma. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, decreased serum sodium, wrong fucking answer, would refer to SIDH as a result of small cell bronchogenic carcinoma. So even if you don't know what's going on in this image here, the fact that choice B, SIDH, and choice D in theory, Lambert Eaton, are both associated with small cell tells you that this is likely not small cell, which it's not. Okay, so our correct answer, choice A, decreased serum phosphate, and we'd have increased serum calcium. That's going to be from PTHRP secretion from squamous cell carcinoma of the lung. Now you say, well, I don't get it. What's the, what's the point here? What's the uh, main learning objective? It's that USMLE wants you to know squamous cell carcinoma of the lung can present as a cavitary lesion. Okay, so on gross specimen, it can be cavitary. There's a, what appears to be a hole in this lesion here. Okay, I know it's not dramatic, but it's just a factoid you have to be aware of. There's certain factoids you have to know. Like you need to know their histo, that small cell is small blue cells, small basophilic cells. Squamous cell will have keratin pearls. Okay, squamous pearls, they're large pink eosinophilic. And you need to know you don't do surgery for small cell, you do chemotherapy, but you do surgery for non-small cell lung cancer. So an additional factoid, OMG, squamous cell cavitates. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.